Joseph Bulibus has got it teed up. Nicole Hardman and Brian Harrigan are back deep for Georgia. 27th SEC championship game. Alabama's been here 12 times. That's more than anyone. Georgia won it a year ago over Auburn. Now they get a crack at the number one team in the country. And they'll start from the 25-yard line. From the 29, that's Godwin in motion. Franz's first pass is not going to be a pass. It's going to be a sack, and it's Quentin Williams. A loss of 11 on the sack, and so Jake Camarda, the freshman putter, is inside his own five to kick. Not the greatest punt. It's going to be fielded at the 35 by Jalen Waddle. Waddle got the edge. He's at midfield. Waddle all the way down to the 29-yard line. To his first throw is on the mark. Going to be close to a first down to Devontae Smith. Alabama already in the red zone. Damian Harris straight up the middle and taking Bulldogs with him. Inside the 10, still going down around the 6. Judy in motion. The spin move by Tagovailoa. Now pressured and down it goes. DeAndre Walker and Jawan Taylor with a sack. And by the way, keep an eye on Tua because I think he tweaked that right knee on this sack. He came up limping on the play. Tagovailoa scans the field. Fires to the end zone. It's intercepted. Richard LeCount for Georgia. Going the other way. LeCount got a convoy. What a turnaround. Georgia with the interception. After the interception, illegal block in the back on the return team, number 44. Georgia, meanwhile, after the Alabama timeout, third down and five. And a jump. Might be a free play. Fromm's going to throw it, and it's complete. And it's a first down. J.J. Holloman. All four to the right side this time. Shifting Alabama defensive front. Fromm's got plenty of time. Throws the out complete. Ridley, little hop, step, jump, and first down. See, that's what I'm talking about, Jake. Holloman and Hardman to the left of Fromm. He's looking that way. He's throwing that way. And in and out of the hands of Holloman. What nice play. defensive play by Shaheen Carter. You got it. From the 21. Tagovailoa in trouble again. Lofts it wide open and drops. You don't see that happen very often. Irv Smith had to put the brakes on on an underthrown ball and couldn't handle it. Georgia first down. Their third possession now at the 40-yard line. From quick throw, got his man, Holloman, back into Alabama territory at the 42. Well, remember, the one-time commit to Alabama was Jake Fromm. From the throw again, again down the middle, out of crossing route is Terry Godwin. And Godwin probably gave up a first down by giving a little ground there. Well, he had a great matchup. And think they haven't been able to block him? DeAndre Swift, the cutback. Can he get to the edge? The step arm got him the first down. Showing blitz right there. They come up the middle from, gets it away before they get to him, and he throws a strike to Ridley for a first down. The throw, not a touchdown. He fakes it to him, has plenty of time, steps into a deep middle throw and got it complete. And it's Henry Ruggs to midfield. Second and six, just outside the Georgia 45. Najee Harris, his first run straight up the middle, powering his way down inside the 30-yard line. I think he was talking about that guy. Tagovailoa. Flags down, probably a holding call. There's a sack coming from Walker, though. Uh, again, Tua, it is first down. You cannot get a touchdown on every drop back. Personal foul, hands to the face. Defense, number 15. 
Play action, roll out, throw, dropped by Judy on a crossing route. He might have had a touchdown had he been able to hold it. Hard to believe. Second and ten. Here's Josh Jacobs on a little draw play. Jacobs heading to the goal line in. I think his knee was down. At the one. Yep. Right now they open the second quarter, knocking on the Georgia door at about the one foot line. Jacobs, the tailback in the eye, gets the call and walks in. Touchdown, Alabama. Through the first 15 minutes of this game. He's all by himself in the backfield. A quick throw out in the flat, complete to Brooks. And the freshman running back goes for about nine. We welcome you back into the booth. Swift got it. And about seven more. Brown looks left all the way, just flips it out to Werner, and he's got a first down. So back-to-back -back catches by the junior. And Holyfield's in the backfield for Georgia. From throws, caught Godwin, and he crawls his way to the 29-yard line. To the 29, where it's first down at the nine-and-a-half-minute mark of the quarter. Blitz is coming. From throws, complete again. This one... Complete to Tyler Simmons. And he's got about eight more. Watch him throw this ball flat-footed as you see. The, his record against the blitz, very impressive. Second and two. That's Miko Hardman in motion. Elijah Holyfield's got the first down and dives his way to the 16. But they keep it on the ground. And Holyfield just powers his way for six or seven more. Looked like he was going to be stopped near the line of scrimmage. Second down and three at the nine. Swift trying to pick his way inside to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. All his receivers to his right. He looks that way. Got some pressure, had to throw, and it is intercepted again. No, dropped by Baker. And he's fortunate, and that is the knock that I've had on Tua all year. But he continues to try to make too much out of plays that aren't there. Alabama hasn't converted a third down. And now Nico Hardman backpedals on the punt at the 33 and comes straight ahead. And Hardman all the way out near midfield. Georgia's going to have great field position. They force a three and out. Werner, the tight end, comes in tight on the left side. And three wide receivers, but it's Swift all the way. DeAndre Swift blasts his way to the 31. 20 yard pickup for DeAndre Swift. There he did the little hesitation again. And he gets it down. They're still pushing. He might get a first down out of this. And he did. Georgia offensive line, that dog pound is saying, you come and stop us if you can. Everybody in tight. Oh, he's wide open. Bomb to Swift. Swift to the end zone. Touchdown. They can make this a game again with the drive here, and then they get the ball back. Remember I told you that trailing thing only lasted 70 seconds at Ole Miss. It's lasted six minutes and 38 seconds, courtesy of Georgia. But here comes Josh Jacobs. There goes Josh Jacobs. Jacobs inside the 30. Still on his feet. Wow, what a run. And then a four-yard carry. And that's second down and six from the 12. Damian Harris again. And Harris has got the first down. He might have more. To the one. The senior drags Bulldogs down. They rush up to the line again, though, on first and goal. Jacobs is the guy that got him down there. And he lost the ball going in. Wait a minute. It's a touchback. He lost the football. He's saying, look to the replay. J.R. Reed reacted smartly to poke it loose, but I think Jacobs gets it and controls it right there. That guy's saying touchdown.
Gary and I are seeing that. After touchdown. review, the ball was fumbled by Alabama and recovered by Alabama for a touchdown for Alabama. Coach Fulmer now athletic director. High short kick. Somebody's got to get to it unless it gets out of bounds. It's still live right there at the two. And it's going to pay off for the special teams for Alabama. Yeah, very poorly mishandled by the receiving team. But I don't trust Quentin Williams and the guys on the defensive front for Alabama. Fromm will throw from his own goal line on a crossing route to Swift. Gives some ground, looks for a block. Ran out of real estate, though. He's short of the first down. It was, it was fun. And we've already seen what number 17 can do. Had a long punt return earlier in the game that set up the Alabama score. They're coming after the putter, and they might have roughed him. Flags are down. It's going to be a first down, Georgia, whether it's running into or roughing. I don't get it, Alabama. I really don't get it. You've got Tua Tungvaloa. You've got receivers and weapons all over the running field. Running into the kicker. Number 31 on the defense. So unless whipped. Rips off a big run here. It looks like they'll go to the locker room at halftime. Well, Fromm's going to come up throwing. Lobs it over the middle. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh my goodness. If you're going to throw the ball, you want to throw it down the sidelines as far as you can. Jake Camarda, freshman out of Norcross. Catch it and get rid of it. Here they come. And he not only got rid of it, did a pretty nice job to get it out across midfield. And uh, might have used all the clock. It did. Good job by number 90. It's halftime. Georgia fans are thinking, can we get them back? And they're going to have to earn this one. It's third and ten. Tagovailoa wanted to go down the middle, and now he has to just throw it away. And this might be a grounding, too. He got hit. I think he was in the grasp, and he's going to get it to not pass, get past the line of scrimmage. Elijah Holyfield is lined up with Jake Fromm and gets the call. And Holyfield, wow, he's strong. And about seven more. Continue the story right here. Elijah again cuts this one outside, got the first down, got the edge, has the speed to take it all the way to the 21 yard line. Boy, I tell you. Empty set for Jake Fromm from the 23. Looks right, goes right to the end zone. Did he catch it? He did! Touchdown! Riley Ridley! Third and three. They fake the flip to Harris. They give it to Jacobs, and he's dropped for a loss. DeAndre Walker. That's 0 for 5 on third down in this football game. Alabama is showing some pressure to bring it off the corner. Fromm throws down the middle. Isaac Nada. Nada. Still running. All the way to the 20. Harriet in the backfield with Fromm from the 13. Now he empties that backfield. Fromm throws incomplete intended for Riley Ridley. And that one was behind him. Blankenship to try to tack. Three more on for Georgia. Up and wide left. He missed it. Well, I'm never out too late, but somebody might have been, right? Tagovailoa down the middle. Got his man. And it's Jalen Waddle who bounces off the tackle. There's a big play they were looking for out to the 45-yard line. Georgia with a blitz. Tua delivers to Judy. Ball is out, but he got on top of it for the first down. Punched out, and another fumble recovery. DeAndre Walker, has he been everywhere? Yeah. Tagovailoa loads, goes long, incomplete, intended oh, for Devontae Smith. Be a tug. It's going to be a tug by Eric Stokes. He grabbed his arm. It's going to be holding. Tagovailoa going deep again. It's intercepted by J.R. Reed. Fromm says slow down. Let's reload here. And now Alabama's able to go dime because Maiden's in the game. 
They'll play it safe to Swift. Never safe if you can't bring him down, though, but he's short, I think. And yes. This, this time, Shaheem Carter is again saying, that's the second time I got blocked in the back. You would think they'd give Waddle a chance after the big return he had on the first one. They do have the return on. Oh, man, he hit it a mile into the skylight of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Great kick. To a... Uh, the throw complete out to Ruggs, and Ruggs dives close to a first down, brought down by DeAndre Baker. Well, if you've got a shooter, you know, if he's Steph Curry, and he's missed a bunch of shots, he's just say, Coach, keep I'm shooting. too. I'm, I'm going to keep <laughs> shooting, okay? Damian Harris, first down run. Out to the 45. J.R. Reed, who had that interception, knocked him down. Irv Smith's been quiet since that one pass aimed at him that he dropped. He's in a slot on the left. Tagovailoa throws complete. Waddle in full stride. Jalen Waddle gone. Touchdown, Alabama. Keep shooting. I'm due. 51 yards. From with five receivers. Fires far side. Got it complete. The stop and go by Ridley. And he's out to the 39-yard line. Charlie Warner in motion to the slot. From sets. Scrambles. He's going to run with it. This time he slides short of the first down by about a yard and a half. Coming into this game, Georgia had trouble on third and short. They haven't today. Blitz is coming. Fromm throws into it, and it's batted down. Shaheem Carter, I think the guy that brought the blitz, is the guy that got a hand on it. From the 20. Play action. Tagovailoa steps into it, throws a dart, complete. And it's Ruggs again. Tagovailoa. Georgia brought an extra man, and they got him from behind. DeAndre Walker, I think, again. Both Georgia tight ends in there right now, Warner and Nauta. Second down and three with Holyfield behind Fromm. They give it on a sweep to Stanley, and Stanley down the sideline, and then Sertan almost a helmet to helmet there. Here comes a blitz. Fromm's going to loft it long jump ball. No, he didn't get it in the field of play. Simmons. Was the intended receiver, but there was just too much heat coming. The give is to Najee Harris and taken wide and knocked down for a loss. Tay Crowder was the first to meet him. So Crowder's the guy that's filling in for him and doing a good job. Second and 12. Play action, look one way, come back to the middle, complete across the 30. First down to Devontae Smith. Whoa. Josh Jacobs in motion. Time to the low uh, Fires in and out of the hands of Ruggs. Had to go airborne to try to pull that down, and two is down again. Oh. And that means Jalen Hurts, the guy who won all but two of the games that he started and was replaced at halftime of the national championship game on January 8th, comes in to take over for the guy that won that game. Second and 10 from the 31. Going to give it to Najee Harris, and Harris is swarmed under by the Georgia defense. Led by Jonathan Ledbetter, the guy Gary talked about. Jalen Hurts has got to throw it here. Three wide outs to the top of your screen. Jalen getting some pressure down the middle. He throws a strike to Irv Schmidt for the first down. Sometimes when you're a good teammate and a good guy, the world and the game finds you again. Third and five for him here. Georgia brings the extra man. Hurts try to run away from the heat. Lofts one on the sideline. Is it caught by Waddle? Yes. And there's the cart Jamie was talking about, which will take to a tight of Aloha to the Alabama locker room. Pump fake by Hurts. Wants to come back the other way. He's going to run for it now, and he's got enough speed to get that much. Very close to the first down. I'm not quite sure where his okay. foot went out. And in the year of the transfer quarterback, this guy stayed. 
And he's got his team in the red zone. Damian Harris up the middle. Harris for nine more. He anticipated it. And now it's direct snap to Josh Jacobs. And Jacobs has got the first down. So they have a running quarterback in there, Hurts. They put Damian Harris out of the slot, and they just snapped it to number eight. Second and goal, just inside the five. Damian Harris kind of leaned in, flags down, false start, I think, Alabama. Judy in motion. Hurts. Sets his feet, now starts to use his feet. Throws on the run. Touchdown, Judy! What a play. Jalen has improved. Bullock is high kickoff again. Georgia's going to call a fair catch on this one. And because of the fair catch, it's scooped up by Herrien. And let's see. I think it's going to go back it has to, to, go 25. Back to 25. Yes. Doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hardman in motion across the field. Blitz coming from Alabama. Fromm trying to loft one to Swift, and he got it to him. And Swift down the sideline. Cuts back to the 50. There's no harder throw than that one right there. Fromm looking left the whole way. Throws. Broken up. It would have been a first down. Instead, it's the foot of Jake Camarda. And it's a fake. Justin Fields. Oh my gosh. It was fourth and 11. Alabama's going to take over at the 48 yard line. Third and seven. Hurts throws down the middle and he's got it to Irv Smith, who dropped the ball but covered it. That's the third time Alabama has recovered a fumble, their own fumble. Pick up a 19 to the 31. Jalen Hurts looking for more. Going to the far sideline, and he's got Waddle again. Remember, they missed it and went to overtime. Just inside the 16, quarterback draw, Jalen Hurts. Touchdown! Jake Fromm starts the Georgia offense from the 36. They need a touchdown to tie. Fromm hit as he throws. Incomplete. Is that a... Yes, this could be overturned. This could be overturned. That could be a fumble. The ball was not controlled in his hand. It is so close, though. It's going to be up to the replay official. Was it dislodged and a fumble? Has it? Has it? After review, the ruling on the field stands. From going to throw it in the flats to DeAndre Swift. See if he can make something happen. He got eight yards and out of bounds. Jake Fromm looks left the whole time. Throws way out of bounds to Godwin. Fourth down. Godwin in motion. From deep drop, waits, fires on a crossing route to Godwin. He got the first down. It was a good guess by Jim Cheney, offensive coordinator. Five receiver group for Fromm, empty backfield. Watch him go deep. He's not going to get it going anywhere. Timeout, good timeout by Kirby Smart. LeBron Ray with a sack. Might have time still to throw an eight yard out and get a little closer and have one second left. From throws, gonna have to hurry, not gonna get out of bounds, first down, but there's three seconds left. They have time to take a timeout now and then throw to the end zone. And it'll be Terry Godwin to the left, Riley Ridley, and all Holloman, the way, and Hardman to the right. And all the way back is Mac Wilson. He's the last player, the last defender, the middle linebacker. And the last play of the game. Fromm's in trouble. Can he even get a pass away? Loads. Goes to the end zone. Jump ball. Incomplete. And Alabama has won it.
Your 2018 SEC champions come from Tuscaloosa. And two old friends embrace out at midfield after a battle that lasted and lasted and almost went to overtime a second time. The winning coach is with Jamie. Coach, what words do you have about Jalen Hurts and what he just did for your team right now? Well, we've always had a lot of faith in Jalen and you know, I told him when we put him in, when Tua got hurt, it's your time, and he certainly took advantage of it and did a fantastic job. I'm, I'm so proud of this guy for what he's done this year. I can't even tell you. Great comeback for our team. So tremendous amount of resiliency, you know, in the game. Uh, we didn't play great, but we won the SEC today, and we're so happy about that.